Hey everybody, so today we're going to be playing a, gold, a hacked GoldenEye 64 ROM that basically um, shows various maps from different N64 games, like Super Mario 64 and if, um, I think Mega Man, and also Zelda Ocarina of Time. So let's get to it. Uh, by the way, this this hacked ROM or modded ROM was created by Sogun. So check him out as well, I guess. Um, the thing is about these missions is he, there's no people in them you can kill or anything. There's no enemies. And there's no weapons. So we have to kind of create weapons here. So let's do that. I'm going to create turbo mode. Create some of these. Or we'll activate some of these just to create, I don't know, just something fun. First thing I want to check out is uh, Princess Peach's Castle from Mario 64. So let's check it out. Here we are. Um, it's not bad. It looks actually amazing. It's perfect. Only th complaint I have is the trees are very two dimensional, but that's obviously it's not a big deal. This is not supposed to be perfect. From the side though, they per look perfect. So. Let's check out one of them. It just looks perfect. Although I'm not going into the level by looking up, but... <laughs> All the doors are functional and everything, it's, it's great. The only exception is the Bond music playing in the background, it's weird. Never would have thought the two would mix. Ah oh, man, look at that. The clock isn't even turning or moving, as it would in six, uh, Super Mario 64. I mean, as you might have guessed, you can't go into paintings or anything like you would in Mario 64. You can't drop down into levels, but I mean, I, I wouldn't expect that be cool though to have a fully functional game that had the mix of the two. I just want to check out outside a little more. You can't go in the water, but I mean, you couldn't in GoldenEye 64 anyways. Or any cannons, obviously. But alright, anyways, let's move on. I'm gonna just skip ahead and just make it a little faster, so. If you recognize the music, you might recognize the level. Or the map. This is, I'm not even gonna try to pronounce the name, I don't remember, Kakariko or something. But this is from Zelda Ocarina of Time. The Village. And might I say, it just looks absolutely perfect, so props to Sogun, because it's great. Here's a little spider room, or whatever you want to call it. Ooh. Oh, that's kind of interesting. Um, you can't go anywhere else other than here, obviously. I mean, it's gated up right there. Try and go here. It's gated up. You try and go to the graveyard over there. Um, it's not gated up, but it's it's just a dead end. But you can go in all the houses and everything. You know. I think there's a great amount of detail in this. You can even go through there. Pretty cool. I mean, it just looks fantastic. You can go into the windmill. You can go anywhere you want within the boundaries of this village, obviously. But... Oh, shit. Alright, so let's check out the next place. Recognize this area? This is the Zelda Ocarina of Time Force Temple. To me, this is always a very complex temple. One of the harder of all. Um... 
have you ever wanted to just roam the temple, just figure out all the rooms and everything, without all the bars on the doors or any of the... not requiring a key for anything or any of the eyeballs being pressed? Well, this is the ROM hack for you, because you can go anywhere. Within reason, you can't go... you can't take this down there. I mean, in Zelda Ocarina of Time, it used to be like an elevator. And you can't do that in this, but you can go pretty much anywhere else. And, and the the jars actually explode when you shoot them, but they pretty much explode and they had the sound of glass. So I don't know. It all works though. No hearts or arrows, but who needs that? Alright, let's move on. This is one of the first levels of Super Mario 64. Um, pretty cool. Again, it's, it's pretty much exact. I mean, everything looks legit. Except I have guns and ammo. <laughs> Not something you would see in... Super Mario 64 for it being like a child game, child's game. Something interesting I found is you go into here in Super Mario 64 and you'd um, teleport, but in this hack you just go through the wall and you actually can go up the mountain. Pretty cool. You can't go. Whoa! I was not expecting that because I've actually been tr playing this a couple times, but. Yeah, typically you can't go off the wall like this. Um, that's really cool. That's freaking sweet, actually. This is kind of like, um, reminds me of... What's that trucking game that's really bad? It's made in like 2002 or something. To where you can just go out into the sunset. Just out of the boundaries of the game. Yeah, that reminds me of that. as my laser seems to just point to there. I, this is a random glitch I just found, so whatever. Um, that's kind of cool. I've been playing this a couple times before this video, and didn't see that happening, but... I don't know if I can go back into the boundaries, the problem. Maybe if I find where I went off, which was, like, I think right here. Yeah, see? For anybody playing this, this hacked ROM, if you go to this point right here, you can go off into the sunset. Or not, I don't know. I have no idea how I did what I did. But I'm back into the boundaries of the game, so. That was interesting. Um, let's move on. One other place I want to show you. There's more levels than what I'm going to show you, but. This is Big Boo's Castle. Or mansion, I guess. So let's check it out from the Golden Eyes perspective. I think there was a giant eyeball there that blew fire at you or something. Not here, but that's alright. It's only for looks. It's only. By the way, this would create. This would be a. One of these will fall if I. No, but um. This would be a, a fantastic. All these levels would be fantastic multiplayer levels. By far. I mean, these would be great. To there. Oh man, if only I could jump and become invisible. Not that it would give me any use, but... So quickly, I'll jump down here and see what this is all about. You just kind of fall down, and there you are. It just plays wind, though, for the music. I think that's kind of weird. But they did that, I think, in the game? I don't know. I don't remember. Damn, booze. Or, booze. 
Alright, well, I just wanted to give quick snippets of everything um, that I, I found in this ROM. If you like what you saw, um, please like and comment what you thought about the video, and um, please subscribe for more, and thank you for watching.